All right, let me show you how easy it is to get and install TBN Plex version 5 now. From our Discord channel, you can do install help. We'll get you this fancy link here with a demo video that you're going to be inceptioned in. Into <clears throat> and whatnot. And you go and you take this that you download and you're going to extract it or unzip it, whatever. And you're going to get something that looks like this minus this one. Let's run it to go through setup. And basically you can do a CLI command or try to launch anything really. But first time it runs it's going to do this running setup now. It does not store those. You pick your server. You create a TBN Plex user. You're going to set that as your current user and the default user. Pick your client. It's going to build a help table for you. It is then going to populate your movies and your TV shows table. It is then going to create some channels, populate those channels, and get some recommended items. Depending on the size of your libraries, that may take a couple seconds, or it may take a few minutes. For mine, it takes about five minutes. All right, so we'll let that run. We'll give it about five minutes, and then we will pick up from there, and I will show you the other basic things you can do right from the get-go. So there you go, it is, setup is done. You can see it picked Moonlighting Episode 1, Season 1 Pilot as the first show it would play for us. Normal play mode. <clears throat> now I like to go in and set my resume status to on. And then go in and pick a wild card show like two guys a girl in a pizza place and maybe we'll do another TV show like better call Saul as the wild card show after that All right and then we'll turn that on so the other thing you should probably do well, I should go back to those settings because it'll be easier to get there is add favorite we'll tag some things as favorites hopefully that worked well, no errors, that's always good. Let's go back and check. I don't think it'll actually show it here. Yeah, I lied. It totally won't. Uh, no. Oh yeah, so I gotta change that back. So there's two different ad favorite remove favorite mechanisms and I like the old one to be honest the one that I'm trying to go back to and I think I gotta switch to the new one again which I don't want to do I don't like that way anyway uh, so I'll roll that back before this one gets uploaded nothing's playing do a picture like you're supposed to get recommend titles
cool those work those are good recommendations too yep those buttons work that movie sucks uh, if you're using the hue integration here's how that works oh my god no lights get lights hey right. there we go boom shaka laka laka there's your lights oh my god there's no groups get groups and you have groups lights and groups and lights and groups there's your options you can set those now when your light client We're going to use alert listener. Let's make sure that opens like it should. There it is. Server settings. Okay, so use local authentication on. That's what you want. But if you haven't already, you'll need to go into your server settings in your Plex account and set use no the bypaths authentication. Specify your client's IP there. Just don't don't open everything up, but just your wherever your TBN Plex client is going to be, just that. Or you can switch to using the token method. You'll have to mod modify the code. Or if you turn on no local authentication, uh, you'll have to choose to store your password in there. I'm not even going to tell you how to do that. You'll have to dig, look it up, dig it up. It's yeah, it's not recommended. That's why you have to like work at it. Anyway, uh. Commercial break, self-explanatory, showed you that. Suggest movies, showed you that. So I should have mentioned when it was going through, you know, you could skip. If you skip, none of these suggest slash recommend stuff will work, which also means your queue mechanism will not work properly. None of that, right? So it's highly recommended that you let that do its thing. Uh, subtitles. Well, I, I gotta switch those. Those are backwards. It should say subtitles off, and then you hit it, and then subtitles are on. Uh, that's the basics of how to get it going. Oh, help! So if you don't know how to do, yeah, that's got to get removed. Help! Uh, Like for example, what does set play mode do? Oh, set pay mode, duh, that's not gonna work. Set play mode, however, should tell you, boom. Now, technically, you can also add question mark to commands you don't know here, bypass that whole extra help page, but that's by virtue of how the CLI commands work. See if there's a bug here. Nope, cool. I like it. how all my buttons are working like they're supposed to even that one. Oh yeah and that one no longer does that one was supposed to be turned off used to hit that one all the time on accident cool cool 
I know, buddy. It's badass, huh? So anyway, there you go. That's how easy setup is. Uh, as you can see, the process listener, webhook listener, depending on which one you use, the schedule manager. Oh. Oh.